guys what's happening. So, I was on my computer the other day, and I'm actually mining altcoins. Uh, I'm using, actually using Ethereum to mine altcoins, and I came across a site called ProHashing. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely pretty graphical. Um, I currently also run Unminable, and that's like what I've been running in the past to mine altcoins using Ethereum. Um, but I, I, I really don't actually like Ethereum that much because the ERC-20 tokens are expensive to transfer. So if you need to transfer from one wall to the other, it's like 30 or 40 bucks currently right now. So um, but right, right now I'm actually mining uh, XRP and I'm actually running my uh, uh, my 4G or the, uh, what's it called? This rig right here. The uh, uh, It's basically uh, 3070, two 1660 supers. And I did another video about this uh, this rig. But really this video is just to show you guys how to set up Hive OS to send your traffic over to uh, ProHash. So I haven't seen a video about this yet. Uh, I, mean, I had to do some experimenting and I had to fail a couple times, but so I finally got this configuration to work. I've been going for about a day. So I thought I'd show you how to set this up. So, all right, so go to ProHash. And it's different because you're not really sending, like with, with most uh, mining, uh, you know, like pools or whatever, like un unminable, you're actually sending back your address. So I'm not sending any sort of wall address. So it's a little bit different. So I'm not going to give a tutorial about pro hashing. It's just, just going to be more about how to set up Hive OS. All right. So let's go to pro hashing. We'll just do get started. So what you're going to need to do is do the uh, worker configurator. For my, go to custom, go down to uh, ETH hash. So it supports a lot of different binding protocols, which is cool. But this, this is actually, the cool thing about this program is it actually has a bunch of coins that Unminable doesn't. And uh, there's also like uh, I'm also doing VeChain with uh, Unminable, but they don't have VeChain on ProHash, so I'm kind of doing both. So my hash rate is, should be about 120 mega hash, and I'm just gonna basically go with the defaults. So Pro Switching, I, I don't think I don't know for sure what it means, but I, I'm assuming it, it, it's sort of like a what's it called like a nice hash that it can actually switch algorithms based on what's most profitable. Okay, so my worker name is for uh, GPU home, and then I don't—I I didn't even switch a group. I'm not going to do any of this other stuff. So group name is worker name. Okay, so that basically gives you configuration right here. So this is what you're supposed to copy and paste normally in your 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 miner. So normally, if I was actually just like on a Windows machine, I could open up Gminer and just you know create this configuration. Uh, but it's a little bit different because I'm actually mining multiple cards and I'm on Hive OS. So, um, see this right here? This is the password. That's the username. And that's what I'm going to show you real fast here. So, really, I just go to the flight sheet. And because you're not saying that, like, so by default, Hive OS wants you to attach a wallet to it. Uh, so, I'm going to choose the ETH protocol. And it could just this could be any wallet. It doesn't make a difference because you're not going to use it. So I'm just using my Trezor address, and then you want to hit uh, configure pool ma uh, manually. So configure uh, in miner, and then go back to get to set the manual configuration. So ETH protocol. So instead of the wall address, you're just going to the, pick the username, which is fintech for me, and then the pool server prohashing.com port 3339, and the password goes here, and that's that long string they gave you. So that passes the name the hashing protocol and that stuff and that's it and I'm currently mining um, I know there we go so I mean it's uh it seems to be right on par with typically what I, what I would expect with this rig you know my, this rig generates usually anywhere from eight to fifteen dollars a day depending on what's going on with ethereum but um, yeah it's, it's a cool another cool interface to mine all coins um, you know, besides unminable so it's like an unminable alternative but uh, I actually do like the graphical interface a lot better on this one than on a mineable. Um, and then from here, you can actually click on your, your payouts. And you can choose, like, uh, different stuff here. So, all right. So, yeah, pretty cool. Let's go back to my balances. Okay, there, here's the miner here. Um, you can see what I'm actually sending here and the stuff that I've actually earned. All right, so right now, like I said, I'm doing XRP, so... All right, where is that uh, dashboard and balances? So, 
All right, cool. Hopefully this video helps somebody. All right, awesome. Thank <laughs> you.